Hey you guys, how's it going? It's Clary Berry and I'm here today to do the Virgo horoscope for the 1st through the 7th, basically kind of 30th through the 7th really. So um, we're looking at uh, where the moons are at just for your inner moods here and um, the 30th and the 1st, the moon is in your 1st house. So you're going to be like vibing on yourself. This is all about self-love, bringing love into the situation. This is something that, you know, you can usually always really guess that you need to work on. This is not one of your strong suits per se, but right now you're feeling more self-aware and you realize that you really do need it. And it's kind of a new you is able to come out. Um, you know, where you're able, again, to bring more love into the situation. So I really love that for starters for you. So on the second and third, the moon is in your second house. And, oh, okay, so there might be some upheavals here. There might be some upheavals. Now, things are going to turn out okay. It's going to be better than you think. Um, somehow all of these cards, even though they flew right out in a crazy, like a kind of an unexpected type of a thing here, um, it's like the stability was, was shaken during this week. You know, we go by the energy of the cards and how they, but again, it's going to, it's going to, you're going to get back to the stability that you crave and that you, that you love, um, during, through this time. Okay. There's kind of a lot's going on for sure. It's very busy. And then you've also got some emotional things, you know, that are popping up. It's Scorpio season. We're moving into, you know, Mars and Scorpio on the 30th, right at the beginning of this reading. And it's helping you to kind of be a little bit more in touch with those emotions, a little bit more, um, almost like able to deal with the emotions. And that's kind of helps you on the second and third kind of have whatever you're like, you have, it's like a, like a drive, like a drive at work, a drive again, to kind of have this this stability, whether it's emotional or, you know, within your relationships, you know, you, um, might be wanting to kind of take it easy and just have a peaceful, you know, it's like, if you're having a little, if you're afraid a little bit emotionally and you're worried about work and you're worried, you know, you're feeling a little bit unstable, you know, make sure that you're taking care of those emotions, allowing yourself to journal, let them out, let them flow away. Just sit, do some meditation, whatever you, you know, do whatever makes you feel good to, to keep you grounded and stable. Okay. Kind of balanced at this time. So on the fourth and the fifth, this is a time where, you know, you might be having some really deep thoughts or getting into some really deep subjects. Some of the like internal things in life, you might be really wanting to focus on shadow work right now. There could be issues, you know, emotional issues with people, um, close contacts coming up this new moon for you in the neighborhood, you know, nearby community, any, like the communication is affected here and we can almost like be obsessive, like really obsessing, even if it's not, you know, it could be obsessing over something simple, like, Oh, the paranormal, you know, Halloween, like all this, you know, spooky stuff. Um, but it's also like a deeper learning and a deeper message that I think that we want to share what we're learning to, um, especially with our close contacts and with the community at large to help to make it better. So kind of let yourself go to those deep, weird, you know, odd oddities of life, spooky stuff, like let yourself get into that and, you know, see what you can learn about it. See where it leads you on a deeper, more intuitive level. Um, you might be feeling, you know, again, like more curious about things like that and wanting to kind of express and communicate with your emotions, you know, and getting de like a, in a deeper way, deeper way of learning, deeper way of teaching and getting your message across. Okay, so there'll be some, you know, resetting. It's a good time to reset your intentions, to bring love into everything that you do. Make sure it's at the forefront. This is a lot about, you know, setting a new intention and making sure that your intentions are t totally pure. Okay, you want to check yourself on that. And that's, again, shadow work really helps us to do that. Check out the playlist here on YouTube. I've got all sorts of videos um, specifying the details and the underlying philosophies of shadow work and what it can do for us and how it can lead us into deeper healing, even deeper than shadow work. 
shadow work is the healing of the thoughts. You get into deeper healing, inner healing. That is more of the emotions and the memories. So the sixth and the seventh, we're wanting the peace and comfort, you know. Okay, we still might be kind of busy. All right. Interesting here. So it, it, we might be feeling like we've overcome, like we're, you know, coming out of a, you know, it's like that kind of void energy, you know, where you get to process something, you know, after maybe you have an intense learning experience, an intense inner, you know, if you have any conflicts or anything with the communication in those close contacts, close relationships, or like a turning point that, you know, upsets you somehow here, possibly over the, the new moon, not saying it's going to happen, but that could be a manifestation of that, you know, then again, this is time to kind of process it and get to work on your plans for how you're going to bring this in, how you're going to work this through, you know, how you're going to actually physically deal with this, you know, in, in your, like in your, in your room, in your home, how are you going to process this? What are you going to actually do next, um, to, to deal with this? And it's kind of like, again, having that emotional peace, you know, allowing yourself that time to, you know, go off and be by yourself, put yourself first, you can do your learning, you can do your healing, you can like allow yourself to be very intuitive, follow your in intuition, okay? Don't let your past get in the way, don't let other people's whatever, this is about you. This is kind of like, again, go off by yourself energy, just allow yourself that time um, and space, you know, for the messages to really come that we need to be experiencing, learning, absorbing, whatever, downloading, um, however you want to look at that. So kind of, you know, again, maybe saying, maybe, you know, again, busy in the morning, but then make time, you know, make sure you just make some time, um, you know, again, not only for your comfort and for your rest and to allow some rejuvenation, but, you know, to again, get received some intuitive mes messages. Okay. Much love, many blessings. Take care. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Oh, and thanks for your likes and subscribes and comments and all that good stuff. Really appreciate you guys.